Now at five, we have disturbing new data. It's just been released. It looks at violent crime, both locally and nationally. A troubling trend is unfolding in Cleveland, and officials are afraid it's about to get worse. News 5's Tracy Carlos explains why. So firearms offenses are increasing across the country uh, in every major city and Cleveland is no different. In fact, in the city of Cleveland, the rate in which police are taking guns out of the hands of criminals is alarming. The number of gun seizures is up 100 percent. Last year, we confiscated uh, a little over 400 weapons off the streets of the city of Cleveland uh, from January to the first uh, couple weeks in April. This year, we've confiscated over 800 guns off the city streets. With the exception of robberies, violent crime in Cleveland is up. Last year set a record for homicides in Cleveland, and the city is on pace to beat it this year. So far, there have been more murders this year compared to the same time last year. All of us, I think, thought the pandemic would slow some of that down. Uh, and it appears to have had just the opposite effect. Acting U.S. Attorney of the Northern District, Bridget Brennan, says the U.S. Attorney's Office set a record two last year. We charged more firearms offenses than in any year before. To try and slow the trend, the FBI, DEA, ATF, and U.S. Marshals have all gained more manpower. And Cleveland Police Chief Calvin Williams says there is a plan in place to try and turn this trend around. We have increased our staffing and all the units that uh, are out there patrolling our cities and actually uh, directly combating violent crime. Uh, be it our NICE unit, our Neighborhood Enforcement Community Engagement Unit, uh, our task force officers who are on uh, task force operations for all the federal agencies. With the summer just weeks away, the disturbing direction of violence is concerning. We all know that in the summer months, all of these major crimes tend to tick up. Brennan told me they're well aware that they cannot arrest their way out of this problem. That's why they're working with community organizations, faith leaders, and medical professionals to try and find a solution. In the meantime, she says the public can play a big role if you see something, say something. And she says that's the message that needs to get out. In Cleveland, Tracy Carlos, News 5.